Hi, I'm Dr. Cho from the House Clinic. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the Epley Maneuver at home. However, before you do this maneuver, you want to make sure that there are three conditions that are met. Number one, you want to make sure that you have no problems with your cervical spine because this procedure involves extending your neck. If you have any cervical spine problems, you definitely don't want to do this by yourself at home. Number two, you want to make sure that you've either been seen by me or one of the other doctors at the house clinic. That way, you would have had this procedure demonstrated to you before undertaking it by yourself at home. And number three, you want to make sure that you know which side is affected, whether the right side or the left side. If you've seen me in clinic, I will be giving you a handout that discusses how to do the Epley Maneuver. And in one particular section, I will write down which is the affected ear. This video will be for the right side that's affected, and you'll see that the normal ear is the left side or the opposite side. To set up for this procedure, you want to make sure you have a flat surface like your bed. You also want to make sure that you have a pillow, and that the pillow is placed underneath your shoulders so that you're able to extend your neck. When doing this maneuver, the first step is to turn your head towards the affected ear, which in this case is the right side. Then you want to lay back fairly quickly. At this point, you will feel a spinning sensation if you do have the benign positional vertigo on the right side. You want to hold your head in this position for approximately one minute, even longer if you still feel spinning. Next, you will turn your head towards the good side, which is the left side, and once again hold this position for about one minute or longer. Next, you will roll up onto your left shoulder so that you're sideways. You want to make sure that your chin is tucked down towards your left shoulder and that you're looking at about a 45 degree angle between the floor and the wall. You may feel dizzy in this position if there are some residual crystals. Finally, you want to sit up, but you want to make sure your head is still pointed down with your chin towards your left shoulder. Once you sit up, you can slowly straighten out your head. Sometimes this can cause some spinning dizziness, and sometimes it will be fine. Remember, for the rest of the day, you want to keep your head fairly upright and sleep on the side of your good ear. Also, you want to make sure that you only try the Epley once a day at maximum.